Hi, Mark Zubak here from the Rexnord Bearing Group. With a new product enhancement or field retrofitable type product, end covers uh, are becoming more and more popular for safety devices or a little bit extra contamination prevention. Uh, and in the past, the Rex and Link Belt product line had just an end cover. It actually looked just like this. Uh, but you had to order from the factory. It had to come from the factory. It was the only way you could get it. Well, today we kind of redesigned that product to make it easy. So within a few minutes in the field, you can add an end cover by purchasing what we call our D-cover kit, cap, new cover, and an O-ring for a seal. So you can buy this kit and you can retrofit your Rex or Link Belt product with a no-hole solid end cover. And I'm going to demonstrate how to do that. So basically, we've got to take the old thread of cover out. Now, I'll have to admit, we're going to have to reset the clearance on this bearing, but setting clearance on Rex and Link Belt bearings has only, always been one of its cool assets, is the fact that we can physically adjust the amount of clearance that's in this bearing, which we are the only manufacturer that can do that. So having that capability makes retrofitting this cover fairly easy. So we're going to go ahead and do that. So the first thing we got to do is we got to kind of loosen our set screw so we can get the set collar off. So we're going to get the set collar off. Take the set collar off. And then there's a micro lock screw and tab. We have to take that off. And now we have to make, save all those parts. There's a little red washer. There's three parts. There's a little red washer. There's a tab and there's a screw. So we need to get that off. So we're going to go ahead and take that off. Remove the three parts. Kind of hard to see, but there's a tab. And then there's a screw with a little red washer on it. Maintain those. Don't lose them. Uh, then we have to get the old thread cover out. So using a flat bladed screwdriver, we can just kind of back this cover out. I'm leaving the seal in because I don't want to have to take it out and you don't have to take it out either. Though so the beauty of Rex and Link Belt product line, our seals are field interchangeable. So you could watch a video on how to remove the seal and reinstall the seals. It is a very, very simple, painless process. So once we get that cover out, obviously we're going to you know, discard this to the side. Don't need the seal anymore because we are providing an end cover. So we're going to take our new, what we call D cover, and we're going to start that onto the threads. Now the thing with setting clearance is the fact that I have to take all the clearance out first and then put the clearance in because I have to know where that clearance is set. So what we do is we tighten this cover up Keep tightening this cover up until the bearing resists rotation or misalignment. That's probably pretty good, yep. Can't misalign it, tight, that's what we call zero clearance. Very, very important. You don't want to over tighten it, because I can keep on going. You don't want to, so as soon as it's tough to turn and really can't misalign it anymore, that is zero. Now, per the service instructions, this happens to be a size code 8 bearing. Per the service instructions, standard clearance is back the cover off 65 degrees. All of the slots on this cover are 30 degrees apart. You don't have to hit the 65 perfectly. It's whatever closest. I got 12 slots and I got two screws generally, two screw holes generally at 15 degrees apart. So I just want to hit one of those holes as close as possible. Always err to the loose side versus the tight side. So if you're a little close, you know, you're at 60, 65, and you, boy, I'm going to go a little, I'm going to make it a little tighter. No, I'll go to the loose side. Always have a little bit extra clearance, better than having not enough at all. So basically, I looked at this, and I got to go 65 degrees. So I got to get it to rotate. So there's 30, 60. So this one I want to go a little bit looser. 
You take the tab, the little micro lock key or tab as we call it, put it in the side of the cover, put your red screw and your red washer back into place, and make sure you compress that washer. It's uh, like a lock washer, for lack of better terms. Also provides some cushioning, kind of keeps it in place. So you really want to tighten that sucker so that that washer compresses. Once I've done that, I have to reset the clearance. I've only moved that cover up so the back outer race isn't in place. So you have to turn the bearing over using some kind of bridge over the top of the inner ring face. On this particular case, a two by four works beautifully. A Couple of quick wraps, clearance is set. See how nicely it rotates, how nicely it misaligns. My clearance is set. Now for the installation of the cover. There happens to be an O-ring that just goes over the outside of this cover. Like so. Kind of fits down into place. Take your end cover, rubber mallet. It's a really rigid cover, so hitting it with a rubber mallet, you're really good. Pound it down into place, nice and solid. Now over the screw, you may get a little bend. That's okay, not a big deal. It's kind of sitting up against that O-ring. I have just retrofitted a Rex or a link belt with our new field retrofitable cover. Very easy to do. The service instructions will include these instructions on how to do it, but now it's field retrofitable. You don't have to order it from the factory. Really great enhancement for the Rex and Link belt product line. Thank you and have a great day.